The cement bond log, or CBL, is an acoustic device used to detect the presence or absence of a cement bond between the casing and formation. The tool includes an acoustic transmitter and usually two receivers located three feet and five feet, 0.91 and 1.52 meters from the transmitter. The tool, which must be well centered, emits an acoustic signal that is detected by these receivers after traveling one of four possible acoustic paths from the transmitter to the receiver. The signal through the casing is likely to be the fastest, since sound travels quickly through steel. As a result, it is the first of the four signals to arrive at the far receiver. The next signal to arrive is that which passes through the formation. The cement signal and finally the fluid signal arrive later. Cement contacting the casing tends to dissipate or attenuate the signal energy as the signal propagates through the pipe. The greater the area of cement contacting the pipe, the weaker the signal at the receiver. The effect of a good cement job on the received signal, therefore, is to cause the pipe portion of the signal to be weak, while the formation portion is strong. When no cement is present, the free pipe rings rather loudly, like a bell, resulting in a very strong signal. The amplitude curve is universally presented on CBLs and typically displays the amplitude of the first signal to arrive at the near receiver. Since this amplitude is for the pipe portion of the signal, a low amplitude indicates good pipe to cement bonding, while a high amplitude indicates poor bonding. The amplitude signal alone, however, does not reveal the quality of the cement bond to the formation. The variable density log, or VDL, helps in that regard. Also displayed on the CBL, it is made up of numerous closely spaced exposures of the film by the positive wave train amplitudes. The result is a sort of contour map of the history of the wave train over the logged interval. Notice that the pipe portion of the received acoustic signal appears as strong straight lines. The formation signal, on the other hand, appears at different times, since the cement thickness and formation acoustic properties change from one point to the next. In an interval with a very good bond, the pipe portion of the VDL does not show up because the amplitude of the wave train is too low to expose the film. The formation signal, however, comes in strongly.